Hi everyone, it's Susie from Dragonfly Bees. I'm an online reseller, primarily in jewelry among other things. And in this video, I thought I was able to complete an unboxing of a mystery jewelry lot that I had purchased, but not quite. So I'll be doing that now. What you're seeing is basically the last shot in this video to give you a sneak peek. So let's start off where we left off. Next up is this really nice gold tone curb chain. It's a very nice weight to it. And it keeps on going till you reach the pendant which is this gorgeous thing. It is rhinestone encrusted all around. Really pretty green stones. And hanging off of this is this awesome multi-metal, multi chain size tassel with um, shiny little beads hanging off of it too. So there, there's this. Is that pretty? Next is this uh, fun bracelet. It has different tones of green. There is a magnetic closure. Um, this here is a little loose, but it closes fine. That's what it looks like. That's the other side. It looks to be in um, good condition. It's very uh, textured um, metal in the back and all around. It looks quite nice. Next up is this pair of earrings, drop earrings. And they have a shell inlay design, hook earrings. Let's take a look at the back. And they say Mexico on, on both. Now, as you can see, it's very, um, it's very worn in the back. So, when that happens, I take out my sunshine po polishing cloths, and um, I have one already in use, and as you can see, it gets really dirty, but you can use them for quite some time. So I'm going to take, take the cloth and um, just rub, rub on one of these. So you can see exactly how this works with this cloth. And um, that way, if I were to, when I do list this, I can take nice photos and show it better. Okay, so here's the um, original one, and here's the one I just cleaned with the uh, with the cloth. I mean, I I could keep cleaning it some more, but I I basically 
wanted you to see the difference. So yeah, that's a, that's a big difference. Now, um, let's check to see if they're silver. I mean, it says Mexico, but usually there would be um, another mark that says it's silver. But you know what? I'm sure it is. I hope it is. Um, all right. So I took the bottom of this uh, earring Scratched it on this stone. Let me grab, um, let me. I was basically looking for gloves because I'm such a dunce and I, uh, I just want to be safe. So I'm going to take, um, 18K acid solution and, um, pour it on the scratch that I made. And if I get a and if it appears through the acid with kind of like a blue tinge, then we got silver. So let's, let's see what we have. Take off, I could take off one glove at least. Okay. Um, the line disappeared. So these are not, these are not silver. So then we have uh, enamel. <clears throat> I guess it's mother of pearl inlay. Earrings made in Mexico. Uh, I'll clean the other side and um, yeah. Very, uh, very pretty. Just needs to be, um, just needs to be polished. Next is this pair of earrings, uh, gold tone with a swirly purple and gold feature in the middle. They're five pointed, um, earrings with rhinestones all around. They are clip-ons. They look to be extremely clean, as if uh, they were never worn. You could tell by just just this alone. Look how look how clean that part is. I don't see any um, name or maker's mark, but these are in uh, very very good shape so these will eventually go into my Etsy shop because uh, Etsy is um, all vintage all my vintage items there so yeah pair of clip-ons next up is another pair of earrings that I found very pretty has a um, Okay, when you wear them, they are clip-ons. When you wear them, that's what it would look like. So there is a crisscross um, pattern of crystals, and they seem to be all there, along with these faux pearls on, on, either, on every corner. Really nice. And let's look at the back. Here's the back. The... Um, It just needs some polishing because I could see, you know, it's a little, um, it's, there's a little wear. Let's open it up. That's what it looks like. I don't see, um, any maker's mark. And these are fairly clean too inside. So these are, these are very pretty. Clip on earrings. And they're quite heavy. Next up we have this pretty silver tone bracelet with a fold over clasp. And it has these faux pearls going all throughout. 
it looks very um it looks to be in very good condition i just need to um polish it up a bit there is no uh, maker's mark there's no name but there you have it next is this stunner you have um crystals all along this bracelet along with these baguettes in the center I mean this is really this is very shiny and it's it's just it's just in wow um, I don't know if you can tell but it's well all the stones are present so that's that's great this is a, the back. This is a fold over. Oh no, this is a box clasp uh, closure. So this is the back. And the closure even has a very pretty baguette at the end. So let's put that together. Closes nicely. And that's what you have. It's a very pretty crystal rhinestone um, bracelet next we have this very pretty bracelet scroll design uh, they, I believe this is onyx in um, round and square sizes and then it's very heavy Let's look at the back. Here's what the back looks like. And this has a... This is a magnetic closure. Oh, wow. Come on. It, it needs a it needs a cleaning inside okay just gotta get it at this end okay keep it open it's very nice it's very nice And there is a pull but this is um very pretty silver tone I believe onyx magnetic closure bracelet found this little lady very tiny uh, brooch right facing cameo uh, I do believe it's resin this is the back you can see how shiny it is and there's the um closure let's see if it closes good yep so this is very sweet it's very small um it, it's not um it's not too old her profile is very chiseled um but she's still very pretty found this multi-chain bracelet wow I'm not even going to count how many but it has these hammered panels silver tone with um, an M in the middle it's a uh, hammered silver tone magnetic closure has that hammered um, look to it in each one of these uh, panels so wait a minute let me look at the inside it looks to be in very good condition so if your initial is M you may like this
Next we have this silver tone seat bead um, bracelet. It has a bead closure and there's two loops at the end for you to adjust the width. It has these uh, AB coated stones, as you can see, shiny, yeah, there you have it. Next um, we have this bow brooch, I brought it up close so you can see whether there are any missing um, stones, but I do see some wear over there and here. But you know what? Let me uh, let me see what happens. I'm hoping that's just dirt. No. Um, there is some wear right on this bar. Other than that, the stones are all intact, and there's the back. So we have a um, crystal bow gold tone there's another brooch that I found it looks to be like a snake um, motif here's the back it is a C it's just a C um, clasp there is a lot of wear and um, it needs to be cleaned in there. I believe um, it was uniformly gold tone at one time, but I could see a lot of copper color. And uh, I don't know if that's white or green. It is old. But, yeah, you see all the um, discoloration. Here's another brooch I found. It is um, painted enamel. I think it's metal of a daisy with blue petals and the white center. But it is missing some paint in the center, so you see some of the metal peeking through. But that's what it looks like. And there's the back. It also needs some um, some cleaning. But there you have it. A flower uh, daisy brooch. Next is this um, bracelet with the mother of pearl inlay. How do you open this? I believe it should be right there. Okay. So it does say something inside. It says Taxco and the makers mark the the symbol and Mexico so this needs needs a good cleaning to polish it up but it's a very pretty there's a hinge closure right there um, Taxco bracelet Yeah, it needs a lot of um needs a lot of polishing. Found another bracelet. And this one is made up of links, uh, alternating gold and silver tone links. And the gold ones have this black enamel with a a gold cross going across. Here's the other side. And it has a fold over clasp. 
and it's in the, it's in good condition. Here's another bracelet I found, and it has these uh, heart um, design on either side of the center stone. I don't believe that's a real stone. Um, it is a magnet closure, but as you can see, it's really... Um, it's really dirty. You see that? <clears throat> uh, I'll clean that up and hopefully I can see that magnet again. And then this is the opposite side. It's kind of a loose, the hinge, but I think after um, that gets cleaned up, it should be okay because it was quite hard to open this and I, I could tell why I can see why we can see why but it is a scroll design silver tone magnetic closure bracelet Here's a pretty um, necklace. It's a bib style, and it has all these flowers, and some of the flowers have this marcasite design in them. And it's on this very nice Rolo chain, silver tone, and it has a lobster clasp, and this is the extender, yeah. So there's three um, hoops here that you can that you can uh, adjust with. But one nice thing, there is a charm hanging off the um, the end and I see that it is a Lucky Brand right there. So this is a Lucky Brand bib necklace. All the stones seem to be intact and um, it looks to be in great condition. This is the back. Lucky Brand uh, Bib Floral Necklace. Look at this fancy lady filled with coins on the bottom. There's like all these dangly coins with a middle uh, longer pendant on the bottom on this very ornate filigree scroll pendant. And then there's this awesome chain that looks like branches almost. And then after that, you have this very long chain ending in a lobster clasp and an extender with a bead at the end. And I do see a jewelry tag. And it says, is that a seven in front of the word park? Could be. What do you think? Off seven park collection? Nice tassel, coin tassel necklace. That's the back. It looks to be in very good condition. There you have it. Off Seven Park Collection 
Ugh. Tassel coin. Coin tassel. How's that? Coin tassel necklace. I'm enjoying these mystery lots so far. I mean, it's very, very uh, diverse. How you, I'm getting a big variety of things um, from vintage to uh, modern and everything in between. Next up, we have this uh, pendant tassel. Gold tassels, gold metal tassels, um, pendant necklace that has these two um, scroll bar designs and like this cloudy um, cloudy beads in between and it's held by this uh, very delicate chain which is quite long it's, it's very long very long with a lobster clasp extended with the bead but this looks to be uh, in good condition. Let's look at the opposite side. There's the back. It's very pretty. And I just love um, how metal uh, tassels just they just they're just fun. They're just fun. Okay. Uh, let me fix that. There you go. Oh, what a mess. Well, that's it. Let's go back in time. Beautiful vintage. Um, here's the um, ornate fish hook clasp. Uh, these are awesome AB clear stones. And it's just fun staring at it. Just looking at those colors. Um, it's in very good condition, and, uh, I just, I just like the, um, how the reflection hits the beads. So, yeah, AB coated necklace. Okay, next we have this. I don't know what it is. Is it a weapon? You know, like ninja weapon? It's really heavy. It's on this gold link chain that is very worn. You see that? It looks to be, um, it could be missing something in the center. Uh, this is black enamel on this gold trim. But you notice um, all that all that wear in the middle. Maybe this was a weapon and someone's been using it. Uh, this is the back. This is going into a craft lot. Um, someone could have fun with this. It could be like, you know, made into a, another pendant or something. Um, or, uh, if you want it, it'll be one dollar. Yeah, craft lot items will cost a dollar. And uh, I normally create five pounds of them. And post them on um, Macari or, or Etsy as crafting supplies. So yeah, this is uh, going into the craft lot. The first item from this, uh, this reveal. Next, we have a, a statement necklace. It's quite heavy. It has these pretty, pretty, pretty design and faceted teardrop crystals along with marquee shaped ones all along this necklace everything looks to be intact and it's on this um, silver tone chain which is uh, only somewhere I see 
it's like the like a paper clip style chain and then it ends in a oversized lobster clasp and this is the extender part and it has a jewelry tag so let's see what that says mythology mythology I have not heard of that brand but um, let me show you what the back looks like this is in a uh, in decent condition in fact yeah I have to say it is it, it is very pretty next we have this stunner it's gold tone crystals everywhere there is a center plate with five hoops and it is blinged out and then you have the chain with all these channel set crystals going up the chain. So looking at the end, oh, it is a fold over clasp. Very clean. And here's the back. saw something here it says Monet okay this is a Monet crystal pendant bracelet I mean necklace and it does say Monet here as well Here we have this really pretty channel set um, crystal bracelet. It's like a tennis bracelet, tennis bracelet style. I mean, it is really blinding. <clears throat> it has a fold over, fold over clasp. I don't see. I don't see any marks. I don't see any maker, but here is what it looks like with the clasp closed. It's just very, um, <clears throat> it's quite pretty and it's in very good condition. And all the stones uh, are there. This is actually articulates. It, it bends. So when one of them was bent, I actually thought that was a missing stone, but it, it, it's not. It's just bending. So I have to look at it this way. And as you can see, they're all there. Next up are um, these necklaces. This one here, silver tone, lots of pretty colors. Unfortunately, it's it's very worn, and um, it's it's a very light, inexpensive piece. So this here is going to the craft lot. This one too is a pretty silver tone necklace with a clasp and a little ornament on the end um, this is in very good condition but it's something that I, I wouldn't um, I wouldn't sell I guess so this is going into the craft lot here's another necklace and it is a nice silver uh, silver tone chain with a it's like a it's like a baby statement necklace you're making a tiny statement with this one so that's going into the craft lot. And here is a twisted double rope gold tone chain. And it has a open work butterfly uh, on the end. And um, 
Well, this one here, sure, I'll put it in the craft lot too. Next, I found this charm bracelet, and it has, it looks like a, hmm, um, someone on a horse with the raccoon tail hat on and a rifle. This one is quite worn. The rifle is, is losing its um, gold tone. Next one is a polar bear, I believe. This one looks like a, um, I don't know, it looks like the uh, some federal building. This one looks like a, this is some sort of uh, liner. Here we have, okay, like a guard that, that um, from in England. <laughs> and here's a plane. So this is a, it's a cute charm bracelet. It, it's quite heavy. It's not, um, it's not like a lightweight, inexpensive bracelet. It has a fold over clasp. Now is that the end? No, this is this one. So that's what it would look like. Cute. Next up I found this little beaded bracelet. Um it looks to be rose quartz. There is a mark on the closure and it does say sterling. Um, when something is marked sterling, it's normally older uh, because they started imprinting 925 after that, I believe. So this is uh, something I will test. And it's so cute, hand knotted, rose quartz or maybe pink jadeite bracelet. Next we have these uh, earrings, two tone, silver tone and gold tone, hoops with this uh, top portion that is, that makes up the clip. Here's the insides. It's a lot of wear. As you can see, I don't see um, a maker's mark, but they need a, they just need some polishing. Clip on earrings. Here's another pair of clip-on earrings I found. Now these are quite large, a bit heavy. They are navy blue and cream uh, enamel with this gold tone braided design. And here's the back. They look fairly, um, they look fairly good. And let's open up this part to check this part out and I see um, I see no maker but they are very very nice let's see how can I how should I uh, how should I display this this is going to be hard I guess it would look like that Next up, we have this really cute bracelet. It is silver tone, toggle clasp, closure. And you have these um, beveled. They are, I believe, uh, imitation faux stones. And, but I will, I will test. But this is definitely silver tone. It is not, um, well, here, let me take my magnet. 
and show you. So, oh yeah, all the tools that I use, um, I also have listed in the description box. So, if you want to check out that list and, and, and want to look at any, um, read up on anything, it's available in the um, description box. Okay, this, um, yeah, this needs some polishing. Uh, okay. It says... Best. B-E-S-T. Yeah. It's funny, if you try to look up best, um, best jewelry, uh, the internet will give you every site that, that, that will, that they consider is the best jewelry. So, um, this is the brand name though. So, and this is a very, very, very nice toggle. bracelet. Next we have this, um, that could be red turquoise chip inlay. It's on this silver tone necklace. It has these inlay panels connected by um, these jump rings. It needs it needs a good cleaning. I see some uh, verdigris right there. And, um, yeah, some, some wear over there. Uh, as well as these, um, panels. These bars. Yeah, that just needs cleaning. I thought maybe those were words, but no. It's, it's just, it's just, uh, needs to be polished. Now let's see what it says. Anything on this um, hook? Mexico. Um, alpaca. Okay, so this is a alpaca red red turquoise inlay. Got all this twisty action going on here. Um, necklace that is not magnetic, so it will be it will be tested. Let's just um, let's just grab the cloth and uh, polish it up a bit and see see how it looks. Can see the difference. This is the part I just um wiped a bit and that's the other side so yeah hopefully I can uh, polish it up and, and make it look uh, make it look really yeah what a difference right so yeah I'll test this this is a alpaca made in Mexico Red turquoise inlay pendant necklace. Okay, down the home stretch, we have this pale pink. This is a glass bead necklace with all these um, different uh, shapes of glass chips. I'll just clean it up a bit. It ends in a um, a very pretty hook closure and it has some decorative bead spacers so yeah glass bead necklace okay next up we have this uh, bracelet it looks to have a faux stone in the center it's attached to this and this is what you would wear uh, on your finger so this is an adjustable ring. 
I think there's a name for this. It may be called a slave bracelet or something like that. But you would basically wear it here. And then this um, this would go across your, your hand. And then you have the ring on in the center. So, yeah. Kind of like that. So there you have it. This here is a... Um, it feels like a metal, metal bangle, uh, with some design. It's trying to be like a cloisonne, but it's not a. The gold is not raised. It just feels smooth. It's just a pretty little bangle, and uh, it looks to be in in um, in good condition. Next, we have this really heavy necklace. It's, um, these are faux, faux stones. Like a uh, brown chocolate color. <clears throat> and these are heavy metal um, panels going all around. It has a very ornate closure. It looks to be magnetic, I think. Yep. Yep. It is. It is. Looks pretty clean. Um, yeah, this just needs some polishing too. Very heavy. A little twisted. I don't want to break it. I'll untwist it um, later. But here's the back. I can't get that twist untwisted easily. This one right here. All right. You get the idea. Found a brooch. Um, pin is a little bent. It's a little worn. It has really pretty crystals. It's a weird, um, it's a weird shape. It's like a U. Or it could be a C, or it could be an arch. It all depends. You could wear it all different ways, I guess. I don't know if it's missing anything. What do you think? Oh, um, I don't know. Maybe a marquee over here? Because it looks kind of... Um, but all the stones are here, so that's nice. So this is cute. Uh, really shiny, blingy, a vintage brooch. Next up, found a pair of hoop earrings. They have this uh, design, kind of like a, a basket weave design. There is some wear. These are... How do you wear these? How would you wear these? A clip on. They do say something. Um, patent pending on both clips. Um, yeah, there's somewhere. You see right there? Interesting. There you go. Found this necklace. Very slinky. Gold tone. Um, fold over clasp. There's no maker. And then it ends in this little um, crystal 
V. Here's the other side. Open back. Very nice. Very, um, I mean, the gold looks... Let me try something. Yeah, it was looking copperish to me. But now that I, I rubbed a portion of it, do you see the difference? Can you tell? Maybe you could tell this way. Uh, this is the part I rubbed, so that's very gold now. And then this is that copper color, which is not what it's supposed to be. So yeah, clean this up, and it'll look, it'll look, it'll look wonderful. This is pretty. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Let me get this out of the way. Okay. Here's another um, blingy crystal vintage necklace. It has these um, beautiful crystals on the bottom. And then these channel set crystals going up the neckline. And this is the type of closure where there's none there's nothing to attach it to but what you do with the hook is attach it to the space in between the, um, the crystals so I guess it would go let's say I want to hook it around there it would go like that I'm so spastic oh gosh let me show you give me a moment uh, okay, so as an example, it would hook up, it would hook onto the space in between the crystals. Uh, that hook is kind of, um, discolored, so I guess it's, uh, it's something I could also polish up and clean, but overall, <clears throat> overall it's very pretty. Okay, this is another cute find. This is in rose gold uh, bracelet. And it has these little floral floral design. Um, crystal encrusted. And it's on this sliding mechanism. The sliding uh, donut is a, is a bit um, tarnished. So... It's on a box clasp, and there's two little metal uh, beads hanging off the end. But it does slide very nicely, very smoothly. Yeah, it, it works good, but um, like I said, it's just tarnished on the sliding donut. Can you see that? But overall, this is a... This is a very, very pretty rose gold crystal bracelet. Um, yeah, I like it. Next up is this uh, hematite cube necklace. Multi-layer, has seed beads, has a barrel clasp. Um, Gold bead spacers. Let's see. Let's put that together. Let's see what this looks like. Here's the bottom. It's, a, it's three layers. It, it kind of needs some shaping because it's kind of, uh, I don't know, it's kind of irregular. But you got the idea. And there's a matching bracelet. Also has a barrel clasp. There you go. Okay, a few more items to go, and then and then we are done with this uh, mystery lot. These are clay, no mark, but they're little mugs. And they're on this very delicate hook. It's like a French hook. Uh, these are earrings. 
with a faux pearl or a little seed pearl and uh, they kind of they're very unique very different little clay I don't know I guess they could be pots with the little handle on the side mm-hmm here we just have a, a little costume piece. It's just a, a, a gold tone, faux pearl, uh, plastic uh, bezeled gemstone bracelet. Next we have this uh, brooch. It has a antique uh, finish to it. Um, there are rhinestones all around each petal and they are there along with the center um kind of like a faux topaz uh color and here's the back As you could see the size it's, it's it's not big and it's not small okay here we have a silver tone floral pin this is small very lightweight Here's the back, very clean, uh, could be vintage, looks very sweet. Next up is this costume ring. Um, it has this scroll design, well, filigree design on the side. It's open-ended. It's very discolored, as you can see. <clears throat> this is a faux stone uh, in the center. Uh, faux cab cabochon. Uh, this will go into the craft lot. Next, I found um, these earrings. A very pretty, leafy design on both sides. The hook needs to be kind of reshaped. Um, they do have some wear. But other than that, it's a pretty pair. Okay, second to last item. This here is a beautiful necklace with a tassel made up of three hanging beads. This seems to be um, a real freshwater pearl. This here is just a, a um, purple bead, or more like a fuchsia color bead. And then you have another pearl. I I know this is real. Uh, not sure about that one. <clears throat> At the end, it has these bicone, AB coated bicone beads, and then this really nice clasp. And I do see nine two five. So this is something, um, yeah, I'll test it, but this is very pretty, very pretty necklace. And last we have this brooch. It is a vintage, um, rhinestone ruby slippers brooch probably from the 60s I see some um, missing rhinestones on this bow but that's okay because it still looks beautiful the other side there is a maker's mark which is right there and I believe that is um mode art it's quite heavy the clasp, let's see if that works good. Yeah, that works good. So yeah, this is very pretty ruby slippers. I guess it has to do with the um, Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. But if you notice, there's even a little tiny heel on the bottom. And it's just the sweetest, sweetest brooch. So, yeah, 
Mode Art Rhinestone Ruby Slippers. So that's a wrap on this video of my mystery jewelry lot purchase that I made from my pink bag. Please take time to check the description box below. There's lots of information in there with regards to ordering, um, the tools that I've used, uh, links that I have to share with you. And please give me a like because that would help me quite a bit. I am a new channel and I hope you enjoy my content. Subscribe if you haven't already and ring that bell. That way you'll get alerted when I do post my next video. So thanks everybody for spending this time with me and I'll see you in the next one.